Hello everybody and welcome back. I am Pandapots and if you are new here don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. So in today's video we are going to be looking at a different blockchain game. This is one that I have been absolutely in love with and addicted to for so long. I really really enjoy this. This is also completely free for you guys to get into. There are elements where you can pay to get better things in it and advance a little bit more but you can 100% play completely f for free uh i'll be doing a little introduction as i have been playing for a long time i am a lot more advanced in the game so it's going to be harder for me to sort of show you how you guys would start out but i will try my hardest to explain everything that i can and it, this is just going to be a little introduction into the game i will be releasing more videos on different aspects of the game different things that you can do. This is more of a little intro, show you what, what it's all about. So if you don't know what it is, it is CSC, that is Crypto Space Commanders. It is a free to play blockchain game. You can find it on Steam. Also, you can visit their site which uh, and sign up on their site, which is csc-game. And you can set up your account right there. Really super simple to do. I will just bring this up real quick. So this is, you would have like a little profile. Just sign in with your email, all of that. And then you can link this when you sign in through Steam. So let's hop into the game. I'm going to get it started. So this is what it will look like. You will log in up here. I'm logged in as myself. I'm going to launch it. But if you are completely new to this, you won't start out inside of here. You would start outside and um, there is a tutorial. The tutorial is like a super basic tutorial uh, and it will just show you like, this is how you move. This is how you get from here to here. And it will just point you in the right direction, which was absolutely brilliant when they released that because before they had nothing. You'd come into the game, you'd be able to look at like a list of the controls and then it was up to you to figure out your way around it. You would most likely, you would start out in a little pod and then it would give you, uh, where is it? Why not have it? There it is. So the tutorial would have you uh, get onto this little thing. It will give you a few little modules. So we've got all of this down here. I'm covering some of it, my bad. We've got all of this down here. The important thing is when you first start, they will get you to do a few little missions and give you items that you will need. They won't be the best uh, modules to put in your ship. And they're all different sizes. So you can see the size one by one, one by one, three by three. So this is our ship's layout. And you would just place it with a one by one. You could place it anywhere. Obviously in here, there's no room for a two by two. Two by two would be like one, two. And then if there was another one here, three, four. So it would take up four places, three by three, three. You, you get the picture. And down here, we've got power available, recharge rate. So our power draw, let me just uh, find a weapon. So if I popped a weapon in here, then the power draw goes up. So that's how much power we would be drawing out. Our recharge rate is actually less than how much we would draw. So if we were constantly doing that, like our power available is quite high. But because that's higher than the recharge rate, that's not good. That means we'll end up um, overexerting ourselves, which means everything goes off. So if you've got shields on, they go away. Uh, you won't be able to shoot anything. So if you're up against a pirate or another player, then you just you would <laughs> you would not stand a chance. I'm just going to take this off. So I'm going to show you a little bit of the space. Um, and also, once you've done the tutorial, it will ask you to start doing a thing called uh, your assignments and it will give you a GFI rank. Definitely work your way through this. The best advice I can give any new person is work through these GFI ranks. When you hit certain milestones, they give you better ships. So if I just show you in here, so you'll get this 
this pod completely for free. Now, in the game, there is destruction. You're, if you're in core space, which is sort of like safe areas, so there's no PvP in those areas, or if someone does try and shoot you, then like the GFI police will come out and like shoot them and destroy them. The skipper is unlimited insurance. You don't need to insure it. If you do end up getting blown up by pirates in something that isn't unlimited, which is an FF ship, then you would have to pay for insurance. Every single ship comes with one lot of insurance. So get blown up once, completely fine. Then there's different tiers and you'd get different things back. So it might be you get the resources to then recraft that ship or you get the best insurance and that just means your ship is fine and you, it's, you know, but it all costs. It'll cost GRP or GFC for the very best insurance. It's GFC, but I only ever suggest using GF GFC insurance on ships that cannot be crafted. So any Star Trek ships uh, that you, because you can't craft any of the Star Trek ones, they're limited, they're one-offs from events, then yeah, you you want that that good want that good good insurance. But for everything else, GRP is fine. But you would get you'd get the Corvette SE, you get that one, and I think as well you get the Vanguard SE? Yeah, the Vanguard SE. You don't get the Voyager SE yet. However, they have introduced as well. We go to loot. And you see all these down here. You can make these shards. You can either buy them off the marketplace or make them and craft them into these. Then when you're certain ranks, which by the way, I'm not the top rank here, you can get blueprints. You can cash them in for blueprints. You can uh, cash them in for parts or like straight up, I think. They do different ones as well where like there will be certain events and you'll be able to get like just straight up get a ship. So let's show you the space. So I'm going to undock. So everybody will start out in Seoul. Seoul is our solar system. It's got our so it's literally our solar system. The one thing I absolutely love about this game is that everything is relatively uh, distance in how it actually is in real life. So the distance between the planets and the sun and all of that, and even the light year difference between all the different star systems. We've got like Proxima over there. Uh, we've got Procyon. So the places in green are core systems. That's where you're going to be safe and they're usually gated as well. Uh, there's a few fringe systems that have gates that take you to them. Uh, and then there are super gates. So I'll talk you quickly, real quick about the super gates. Super gates, they cost something called trilite. Uh, well, trilite fuel. So your TCF over here. When you do your little tutorial and work through that, they will give you some TCF for free which is very, very handy. However, you want to save that. You want to save that for certain missions and getting from place to place. Uh, otherwise, you want to use the free gates. So when we click, you click this up here, which is our map. This is this entire system that we are currently in. Then you can go to Galactic, so it will show you all the star systems and how far they are away from each other. And what I really, really like, let's say you wanted to get to 43 beta. Click that, click here. So there's two ways. It can You can just click to see the map or you can do something called FTL. Now you don't want to be slipping into FTL if you're a new person. However, you can click that. Don't click FTL because see, that's going to take three days. You can't come out of that. You cannot get out of FTL. There's no, like, you can cancel it before you get into it, but you you can't cancel it once you're in it. You, you will have to wait that time. Gate travel time. So you go gate systems, and it will show you the exact map. Now, this one will take you through a fringe area, which if you're going in the skipper, it probably doesn't matter too much because 
Uh, that's unlimited insurance. Unless you're carrying something valuable, I wouldn't worry about it. But you can click here, avoid, and then accept, and always have auto engage the next jump gate, but still keep an eye on it. And then you would just accept and it would take you there. The other thing you can do is I'm, I'm going to take us to Proxima. So I'm going to put Prox in and I'm going to go view system map. And I actually want to straight up just go to the space station in this place. I'll click travel. I don't want to FTL because that's going to take 10 hours. I want to gate system. Um, Don't need to avoid fringe space because it's just one gate away. You accept and it will show you the pathing to how to get to each place and it will take you the quickest route if you click avoid fringe it won't take you there and there are star systems that don't have gates so you will have to ftl but for those i would say you want to stick to core until you get a lot higher and maybe even have enough to buy a better ship you definitely like for certain areas you definitely want to be going to Going in some really good ships with shielding, weapons, uh, usually like some good ore scanners. So the whole point of the game currently right now is you mine resources, you can battle other people, you can battle against the game. There are missions where you have to fight certain drones and whatnot. And they give you drops, which, you know, can be helpful. Missions, there are some missions that will uh, pay out in the in-game currency. So you're probably thinking, okay, this is all great. This is amazing. How do you earn? So all of this are uh, NFTs. Your resources, uh, you could, resources aren't NFTs right now and they're in-game market. They, you can't sell for ETH yet. They have been saying they want to be able to. So if you've mined some iron, like currently right now, it's either GFC, which is like the one that you buy, and then GRP, which is like the in-game currency, right? We're at the station. But your ships and all your modules are NFTs. You will have to mint them if they are in-game because now the whole perma loss in fringe space and like the dangerous areas because you can lose your modules, you can lose your insurance. Because of that, you do need to mint them so they can be sold so they're not locked within the game. But you can sell those and you can craft them. And I will talk more in the crafting parts. So you craft modules. Some are better than others. You would have to like check the markets, check on OpenSea. I will link OpenSea in the description. So I will quickly talk about the refineries. So with the refineries, you need to have a whole setup. So you need a rig, a screen, a separator, and a uh, sluice slice. You also need power, and then there are things called augmenters. So they will, like right now, the potential yield, no matter what you've got in there, you should be able to get it to 98%. But the augmenters I put in there can give me a better yield. So it will reduce the time, it will give me a higher output. When you first start out, I would suggest if you need to make some GRP, I always suggest have a look at the market, look at the buy orders, look at what station they are, so GFI Home. The, the three main ones people use is uh, GFI Home, Proxima Prime. Proxima Prime because it is the first and currently only player-owned station within the game. So someone actually paid for this and, and other players have shares within it and the shares can be brought on, um, on OpenSea as well. They are a little bit pricey, but you can obviously get, you get paid for having shares in it. So when people sell through here, it also has the lowest tax rate. So when you do sell things everywhere else you pay, I believe it's 5% in Proxima, it's only three. So I've just done a workshop thing. So I've put resources in here to refine. Different combinations can actually make different things. So you saw I've done aluminum sheet with a pyrite shard. And that has made an aluminium rod. This is all what I need to be able to craft certain things that I like to craft within the game. And then you can manufacture them if you got them over here. Oh, wait. 
So it's manufacturing. I'm going to go into all of this in more detail in the future. But I'll talk about the whole crafting process and stuff like that. But yeah, in terms of like, you might be wondering, okay, so, so the aim of it is to mine resources, do battles, get modules, modules are NFTs, same as ships, and you can sell those. But like, how much can you actually make? Well, that all depends on you. Now, I'm not going to say this isn't a grindy game. It is, especially if you're in smaller ships and you don't pay to maybe buy a better ship. Uh, now is actually a good time to buy because a lot of the OG players are upgrading to better things and trying to sell some of their lowest, uh, their low, <laughs> I say lowest stuff, lowest stuff, but still good stuff, um, be able to get further in the game. Uh, oh, I should probably tell you about this. So the little rocks are asteroid belts. Now, when you do mine in these asteroid belts, um, drones will come over. Uh, depending on where you are, it depends on the level of what's going to attack. So Sol and Proxima are probably the easiest areas to be in. Um, it Basically, outwards from Sol will show you how hard they get. Don't be afraid to hightail it out of there. You'll probably find in places like Seoul, you'll get a few mines out of the asteroids, but the whole tutorial will talk you through that. All the systems look vastly different. They're absolutely stunning. My favorite to be in is probably 406. That's one of the most beautiful systems and an all right one for mining, especially even if you're in low level. So when you get your Corvette SE, definitely pop over there make sure you get some weapons get a little bit of shield you can leave you also need to make sure that you get a scanner at some point i will talk about like a whole good mining rig for starters in another video especially if you guys like this one not too sure what else i can say about this it, it's quite hard to sort of talk you through it when i'm not going through the start myself you'll be able to see other players we just flew past someone so you're not going to get attacked in these areas, or at least not on purpose. And we will, I'll do a video on doing some battles. Definitely pop over to DLive to see me live stream. I haven't live streamed uh, CSC for a little while since getting uh, stream sniped and almost getting destroyed in a dangerous area. But I will start, there it is. And see, I've got, so I've got this. You don't need to have this. I can take that down. So what that is, is uh, targets. Targets. So I keep that up there to see who's around me. You've got different chats. So I, guild chat, if you're in a guild. You've got global, which is just everyone. You've got system. And then private, so someone needs to privately message you. Uh, and people are really helpful. People are helpful in the chats. People are helpful in the Discord. So definitely check those out as well and give it a go. It's completely free. You don't need to put any money in to get to get going in it. Obviously, it can be a little bit annoying when something's grindy. But if you don't mind, you know, just putting a little bit of time doing some mining, getting those resources up. We will do more talk on how to. Yeah. In fact, no. Put in the comments what video next you would want to see on CSE? Would you want to see more on the crafting, battling, how to set up a ship? I would probably do it for, I I do one for like the Corvette SE and a Vanguard SE. I want to do it for like you starters that aren't putting any money in to purchase another ship. You can go to the marketplace and there's different. So resources are the resources. Assets are the things like your ships, and uh your modules also in resources you will find the blueprints the so blueprints for ships are in resources and uh blueprints for modules as well which is for crafting so yeah if you want to know more about crafting workshops whatever pull it down below let me know which one you want to see more of and i will do a video on that and I will do it in this one. You can earn free GFC just from watching an ad and tweeting out about it. And you get to watch an ad every 24 hours and you can tweet about it every 72 hours. Um, also, if you are brand new, there'll be a couple more here for you to do. 
But they're like one time offers, so they're a little bit more. Uh, but they're like only one time one. So once you've watched it, it will go green and say ready. So with the tweet, it takes a little while. So I would suggest tweeting it out and then going back after five minutes. Don't forget the amount of times that I've tweeted and then forgotten it's there and <laughs> got to click it. And it straight away goes over there. So that's nice. That's good. If you join now, you you will be a little bit obviously behind the OGs and you won't be like the really high ups, but you would be the people that would supply the OGs with stuff that they can't be bothered or don't have the time to go mine. And they'll most likely buy off of you. If you are like active in the Discord and even in the in-game chat, people get to know you, be part of guilds and stuff. And there are many, many helpful people. When I first started out, I had so many people go, okay, I'm going to help you with this. I'm going to help you with that. And like, I even had someone send me GRP to be able to buy my own workshop. And that was amazing. I've given back to the community before. I've done giveaways of stuff and other, other people have given me stuff as a streamer that they've crafted to then do as giveaways, which is amazing. I love doing giveaways for you guys. It has been a little while because I got, got a little bit scared from the stream sniping. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please, please send that like button into outer space for me. Like right up there, right up into space. Just tap it, send it away. Get that, get that like button into space. And please, please subscribe. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate every single one of you ever so much. Wherever you are in the world, have a good morning, afternoon, evening. Goodbye.